Okay. Um, so, just a sec, okay? All right. So, as a good session, we are debating feminism and the Western Nepali feminist movement. Right? So, just to clarify, you are debating the Western Nepali feminist movement. Right? No? This is about um, debating feminism. Um, this is about session in the Western Nepali feminist movements. This session is about the Western Um So, first of all, thank you everyone for showing up in this session you know thank you thank you everyone for showing up for my session um also showing up on time um as i say i hope we'll get to talk about certain issues on you and it will be something informative for you and you'll have some takeaways when it's in your as well um so just going to briefly introduce myself i think Sirish has already done a very good enough job you know my name is omisha um i've been debating in DNN since April 2017. I've never been directly affiliated with Smart Club, but I've been to a few sessions of Smart Club. Um, and I think it's a great platform, you know? Um, and I'm really glad this collaboration is happening between DNN and the Smart Club. And everyone who's taking this session, if Sirish hasn't already emphasized enough, please come and debate in Smart Debates. Eh? So a few disclaimers before I start. Just a second. Uh, Okay, so a few disclaimers before I start the session. Eh? I want to make it very clear that this is not going to be any kind of academic lecture on feminism. Eh? I think that's fairly obvious and I'm debaters or what I mean by that is I'm no no expert to give this to Halko lecture. Um, I'm just a first year law student, so this is what I mean. Gender studies, women studies, go background, so I know it's a researcher, Nikale Kutisuna. Um, but um, I say for the past two or three years, I have an um, inherent interest in that. I've been looking up um, a few feminist contents, articles, or reports, or debate, or so, you know? so this is what I can say, even though I might not have the credibility to give a full on, and then expert, those are the lecture, I think this session, say I can host, any, at least for the past one week, some of them research, so this is what I um, Please expect this in a um, second could I say efforts to remove subjectivity. Eh, no? um, so I think feminism, because I think it was a brilliant session. I think he set the bar too high, to be honest. Uh, but that session was fairly objective. Eh, no? And factual too, the Nepali politics, I think um new session pani largely this the new informative one. So many history or kukura gorsu. So my articles, courses, this I cite to go to the Bonako session, you would say. But uh, I think feminist movement, or as a matter of fact, any social justice movement, say purely objective, kita purely academic, kita have no personal opinion, have no lived experiences, some separate corner mill denoi. So feminist movement may this to borrow your session pani um somewhere say mira have no opinions or say it will come into play. Um I think it is quite inevitable pani. Only last school I'll say only call me hyper liberal for saying this, but I'll be talking a little bit about rape culture and mental health. So if you get easily triggered, I'll just tell you when I'm going to start um, and then you can mute, eh? you can disconnect the audio, I mean. So let's start the session. Um, so Amni, first school, I'll say, let's talk about um, Western feminism, um, Western feminist movement, and you will we'll talk about how this movement started. Let's talk about the history of Western feminist movement. So when we talk about Western feminism, um, I'll be talking about mainly North America, um, also Europe, uh, Western Europe, um, mostly in England, France, co feminism, or Kunkura Gorsui. So um, I don't think that I want to define what feminism is in this movement or what it means to be a feminist, because, like I said, um, most of us are incentivized to join this movement out of lived experiences. I know a key form of patriarchy, rape culture, is this some interaction, border, you know, even microaggression or some interact borders. I mean, I am like subjective. So, um, this is a your movement like them strongly, but also this is a galvanized penny gorso, you know, all you could be divisive, but also. Because my personal experience is going to be different from yours, you know. So um, um, I don't want to define it. But if you want a dictionary definition, you know, or if you want me to define um, what feminism really is, um, I think this is going to be the most neutral definition, also the most encompassing, you know, which is that feminism is the 
political, cultural, or economic movement aimed at establishing equal rights and protection for women. Bani idea, you know. So feminist funny term that it had been used since I think around 1949. But the literature, my women are like me literature, my use on the money. 1970s, the he say, it's a very common, generally used one. Thali ko term, you know. And feminism, I say. Since history, nay, one of the main critiques of feminism is that feminist icons or who need go like you movement or only man's here. So predominantly middle class white women, okay? Also middle class women, upper middle class white women are ones. So on this side, what I say, only go view on feminism. It's them ethno ethnocentric ones, okay? Bunny go ethno ethnicity, but I go perceptions go based on. So all of the exclusionary ones, okay? Feminist movement. Say we'll talk a little bit more about this in detail. Exclusionary bunny go say certain minority groups are they exclude go because actively, you know? So, um, I'm is a weave school kura gorso, yeah, but weave metaphor bunny go say I'm is of a feminist movement like. ट्रैक करो हिस्ट्री बट हम फर्स्ट वेव सेकेंड वेव थर्ड वेव हमें सेंसन में कुरा करने वाला सौ है सो हमें इस वेव भाई बिकज द टर्म वेव टर्म गए भाई बिकज इट्स अ पार्ट अफ अ लार्जर फेमिस्ट मुवमेंट बनकर सींगल ग्रेट एजेंडा भाई आइडिया हो रहा एक पच्चीस अर्क आइडा वेव्स जस आई भाई आइडिया हाई सो ते कहीं कहीं पिक्स कहीं कहीं रिशीड्स लाइक वेव ते हो एकदम डिस्टिंगटिव होते हैं है लाइन कहीं कहीं ब्लरी हो सो ते वेव भाई बट एट द सेम टाइम इट कैन बी रिडक्टिव है वेव भर डिवाइड कर फेमिनिजम में नहीं कंपार्टमेंटलाइज कर पर्टिकुलर वेव में यू एजेंडा भाई तो एकदम एक्सप्लिट हो इवन दो एवरी वेव को सर्टन गोल्स होता है सो आई लेट्स मुव ऑन एंड आई थिंक इट विल बी अ लॉट मोर क्लियर सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट वेव अफ फेमिनिजम है यू वेस्टर्न फेमिनिजम को सबसे हमें हिस्ट्री अकेडेमिकली पढ़ना गए भाई ये सबसे स्टार्ट अफ द वेस्टर्न फेमिस्ट मुवमेंट भाई कि हम फर्स्ट वेव अफ फेमिनिजम भाई दैट स्टार्टेड फ्रम एटीन फोर्टी एट एंड इट वेन्ट अल वेन्ट अन टिल नाइन्टीन ट्वेंटी है सो यू North America, man, New York, man, start poko, you know. It was Seneca Falls Convention, man, in 1848, man. It was a church, man, 200 or a woman who debated, or you know? they started talking about gender inequality, you know. They talked about what it's, you know, women are like, what's to help with problems face, of course, you know. Understand that this is a very, very long time back, and it's a very patriarchal context, man, born, poko society, you know. Two, man, now this man, like 200 women come together and talk about gender issues, you know. This like, yeah, I mean, start of the first wave, man, so get. New York my book is Seneca Falls Convention you know so originally the first wave was about a few things eh? it was about property rights you know but like idiot property power no thyo so this is the property rights of am it's i over demand got to go you know also against chattel marriages um you what you could say Before the first wave, a uh, woman were believed to be the legal property of men. Okay, but it was just like slaves, you know. Women are like legally owned, girls. Okay, men, you know. So to, against the idea of legal ownership through marriage, say to you know, also working, you know, women are you want already already need work, girls. You like garment factory, my work, girls. You call centers, my work, girls. You. So it's like gendering, okay, but like women, like certain types of job, matter, girls, meals, so women, you know, like military position, my politics, my own meal, you know, but the idea, you know, so. इसे वुमेन लाइक एकदम फ्रस्ट्रेशन थी क्या बिकज वर्क पर्सनली एक्सप्रेस करने मीडियम थी वुमेन सो ते वी नीड टू वर्क वी नीड लिबर्टी इन वर्किंग टू एक्सप्रेस आवर सेल्स आपको इंडिविजुअल एक्सप्रेसन हो भाई आइडिया थी अल्सो बर्थ कंट्रोल बर्थ कंट्रोल से लाइक सेकेंड वेव हो अज एम्फोसाइज भो है बर्थ कंट्रोल में तर प्लां पेरेंटुड एस्टाब्लिश भारती सेक्सुअल फ्रीडम दी आइडिया दट वुमेन कैन हेव सेक्स विदउट वॉन्टिंग टू हेव अ चाइल्ड तस्त खाल कन्वर्सेशन्स आई रहो तर जब यह नाइन्टीन ट्वेंटी पुगो है जब यह मुवमेंट में एकदम मानी आयो दिस वॉज अल्टिमेटली अबाउट द राइट टू वोट है पोलिटिकल पार्टिसिपेशन अफ वुमेन रोलिटिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन को बारे में थी अल्टिमेटली फर्स्ट वेव तेज हम राइट टू यूनिवर्सल सफरेज भी भाई इट्स बेसिकली अ फैंसी वे अफ सेंग राइट टू वोट है तेरह वुमेन सफरेज भाई एंटायर मुवमेंट नहीं आगे थे कि दुबई इंग्लैंड में नहीं आगे थे र नर्थ अमेरिका में नहीं आगे थे है सो फर्स्ट वेव इज अबाउट द राइट टू वोट है कसरी भो भाई वुमेन बेसिकली एट मुवमेंट बनाए है अर्गनाइज मुवमेंट बनाए पैलो कुरा अमेरिका में रेप्रेजेंटेशन अफ पीपल अफ द पीपल एक्ट बने 
पास गराए हैं ना विड्रो विल्सन थे वो प्रेसिडेंट और ये उस समय गौरव कांग्रेस में गौरव पास कराए हैं और तीस नाचे बेसिकली क्या माने थे वन एन वुमेन अबाउट द एज ऑफ थर्टी हु ओन्ड प्रॉपर्टी उस लिए थे डेट वुमेन विल हैव द राइट टू वोट माने थे तो अल्टीमेटली फर्स्ट वेव लिए थे नाइनटीन्थ अमेंडमेंट इ all women or at least theoretically all women the right to vote eh? so that was what the first wave was all about so let's talk about the british suffrage movement eh maile bhane haina uh, suffrage movement bhaneko it's basically this feminist movement that was advocating for the right to vote haina eh, and your british suffrage they came even before the american suffrage movement haina eh, ani british suffrage they kasto thyo bhanda hen if you go and if you read articles about the british suffrage uh, movement haina eh, um videos or in so youtube ma if you look at this picture haina eh, um british suffrage movement was all about getting attention okay media attention eh so basically if you look at this picture you will see that you era pure women or sub white ma dress ga lesa you know so isa ne hunthyo ki they were masters of spectacle spectacles you know bhaneko they always wore white you know when you go flag pani white green or purple thyo ra unni haru sadai match gartyo outfits huncha ni ekdam art artistic displays hunthyo ki and this was all because they wanted to get into the front page of newspaper okay you white unni haru le white luga lako pani tyo bela black and white huncha newspapers ra tesai garda they wanted to be in the front page they wanted to get the attention you know so tesai garda chai jastai hamle yo बीएलएम में रिसेंटली जैसे देखे नहीं तो तो वो फॉर्म ऑफ एक्टिव एक्टिविज्म होता है क्योंकि एकदम ब्रिटिश सफरेज सफरेजेट साइड से मिलिटेंट सफरेजेट्स नहीं बनते उन्हें ऐसे एकदम बैंडलिज्म में लगे कोई ना एकदम विंडो स्मैश करने एकदम अरेस्ट होने पुलिस वाले मुख में थूकने है ना तो सब पे गोर सफरेजेट मूवमेंट है ना और 1910 में तो इस तरह का प्रोटेस्ट होने बेला ब्लैक फ्राइडे बने बंद से कि ब्रिटिश सफरेजेट मूवमेंट ले और इस में तो इस तरह का प्रोटेस्ट होने बेला पब्लिक प्रोटेस्ट में पुलिस और रूले उन जनी पब्लिकली आये रूप सेक्सुअली असल्ट करना था लेकिन वो मना रूले आई ना एकदम ही तू बेला तो जस्ट यामी और ये रेशियल पुलिस ब्रुटालिटी देख सो तू बेला एकदम जेनरल पुलिस ब्रुटालिटी थी ओके तो तीस तो उन था लियो ना नी यू मिलिटेंट सफरजेट सर एकदम क्लास ब्रांड्स दोस्तों ने हो गया है ना, but it ended in 1913 है ना, because क्या थे ये एक एप्सम डर्बी में ये एक तो मैं ठुलो इंसिडेंट बोल के, so there was this feminist icon who was leading the British suffrage movement called Emily Davidson है ना, Emily Davidson इसे एप्सम डर्बी बने रहा, एक तो मैं एक तो मैंने reputed horse racing event हो गया, इंग्लैंड को है ना, और दिस में थे किंग को हॉर्स आ गया थी फुल स्पीड में आई रहा को हॉर्स को आ गया थी शी स्टेप्ड इन रैंडमली की क्राउड बड़ा एंड शी डाइड आई नो दिस पर सी अन्य यू बंदा आ गया थी देरे इस तो इवेंट्स और बाकी सारे बिकॉज़ लाइक आई सेड दे वर वेरी अग्रेसिव एंड दे वर रैडिकल सो दे वर विलिंग टू डाइ सॉरी दे वर विलिंग टू डाइ � but this was actually filmed on camera i know so if you go on youtube if you go on youtube and if you type uh, emily davidson's suicide you will see it you know ekdam crowded so or so i was on tech key turning point my camera le catch going um camera le catch going angle ma british suffrage movement ko sabse leader so any like icon the icon of the british suffrage movement committed suicide you know on this posite ekdam usko funeral ke picture ho you know you ek तो मैं ठुला फ्यूनरल बायो एक दम ही देर क्राउड्स आ रहा है और दैट वाज़ द लास्ट एक्ट कि यू ब्रिटिश सफरेज जेट्स आ रहे हैं तो इस पर सिर्फ यू मिलिटेंट सफरेज मूवमेंट डाइड डाउन है ना इन 1920 सिरा दे आल्सो गोट द राइट टू वोट तो दैट्स हाउ ब्रिटिश सफरेज मूवमेंट्स वर है ना अब लेट्स टॉक � um few women were already running for offices ke bhane ko political positions ma run gara thyo even though they didn't have the right to vote i know tyo bhanda agadi pani um this pachi pani uh women's uh, christian temperance union bhane thyo it was a political union um we don't need to know a lot about this just that it was a little bit conservative and alcohol 
like protest going through because alcohol consume gore bhane domestic violence and so on you know and they were also supporting voting and you know? before 1920 you know before the 19th amendment was passed 1986 my idaho or utah man say already two ta states ma women are like right to universal franchise these okay you know? already right to vote too so american suffrage started with seneca falls hey eh? the 200 women or uh, job a better church ma goyo this was say it it started from um seneca falls um Okay. Okay, so I'll just I'll just finish this and then I'll address your question, eh? Um so first wave ma jai no few women ran for offices to to already context to you know the seneca fall was is a nasa but ne not nasa the nasa when an organization was established which is national american women suffrage Uh, association one it basically they were in american suffrage movement too and this was a 2 million voluntary membership okay it was a very very big organization and a 2 million women to be as you organization of voluntarily they signed up and the organized movement lead by that okay no so um you be as you know else paul when he did okay so is the boy that you know organized movement but so puri organization khuli that so basically all the structured civilized women are going that so this was a you know new brand of women are okay they were young college graduates you know um and you uni or let's say um ekdam british suffrage society okay you know uh pehla se american suffrage ekdam civilized women are going that so you know but they learned from british suffrage and they were imitating the british suffrage you know and this one of the most famous um feminist icons is alice paul when you say you can look her up she's very very famous you know um usse se ki karte bhanda did to emulate gordin thyo ke british suffrage sir like when you usse se pure white house ko fence ma gaye aap le chain gordin thyo you know pure ekdam violent thyo pani ekdam aggressive thyo you know and ekdam hunger strikes haru garau thyo ani gar thyo le aap all le pani beat garau thyo ani prison ma lock thyo le prison ma gaye pachi ni u hunger strikes garau thyo ke if you look at this picture you can see um and then uh, are being forced fed nak pitra bata ke so this was actually one of the forms of torture very famous way to torture the suffragettes say eh? um but is this still do right no any usle the ultimately gaira ekdam ek thulo yo movement um like it a form of cultural momentum do okay on this position she was one of the leading forces in getting um the 19th amendment ratified eh? um so before i sorry for that um before i move on so we should i go question um okay so we should i lay uh, your perception on importance of militant suffrage movement please the extent of its impact so i think is the way um as i'll go on with the session you come to know that is is to kura is even stereotypes uh, create gordon sage feminist or go by mine and just say second wave man is any bela to bela bani women or le ekdam aggressively male traits le ko छ होइन पुरै ब्रा बर्निंग एन्ड अल दैट हुन्छ नि त्यो सब छ होइन अनि त्यो भएर स्टेरियोटाइप्स क्रिएट गर्छ र आई थिंक इट काइन्ड अफ डिटर्स अम रिपेल्स सेंट्रिस्ट्स के हुन्छ नि अब जस्तो इभन यु वुमेनहरु हैन हु डोन्ट वेरी मच बिलीव इन दिस कॉज उनीहरुले यस्तो अग्रेसिव भायलेन्ट मुभमेन्ट हतो पत्तो जोइन गर्न मन लाग्दैन हैन तर यदि उनीहरुले यु यस्तो खालको स्टान्स नलिएको भए चाहिँ probably you movement at zoom level of impact by especially zoom level of attention by because they did all of this for attention to be successful then to like so to space in over uh, i think they were coerced to take is to have the roles i think it was um, i personally liked it eh? um although i think it's wrong to glorify violence and all that i think they didn't have a choice i mean my is all the iconic like so um all right so issues with the first wave right so we talked about both british uh, american suffrage movements aru um sobse important issue eh? please understand this very very well especially with the first wave so it was very very exclusionary and it was ekdam racist you know so i think it's implied you know i think bujin sa sozidari kosari exclusionary thyo bhaner because you sabai white women aru huncha ni obviously sab icons haru ke yo um seneca falls jostai gara ni susan b anthony aru you know sabai jana chai they were they come they came from very privileged white backgrounds you know so this is called a black woman latina or chinese american native american woman or unni or like cater gore na okay you know unni or ko issues like the cater gore na because unni or the face gore issues so it wasn't just um unsa ni issues of um gender ni ta you know unni or racial violence lynching housing inequalities you sab ko na face gore that you know so you issues like cater गर्ने सकेन पनि खोजेन पनि होइन त्यो मुभमेन्टले बट इट्स अल्सो द फ्याक्ट होइन 
that you women or in 1920s ma jab you 19th amendment ratify bhayo tespachi they weren't actually allowed to vote i know so here's the thing ke 19th amendment ma jab right to vote aayo women ko lai bhancha it was only for white women ke na um so black women or particularly say 1965 ma 45 years after 19th amendment was ratified tespachi bollo vote garna sakyo ke to to bela pan ki bhako thyo bhanda civil rights ko pura movement bhako thyo the black or the martin luther king or sabli lead gareko so ekdame dherai time pachi after so much of struggle eh, because to movement ma pani ekdame dherai violence thyo ekdame dherai struggle thyo tespachi bollo chai black women harle pae ke so even though they had the right to vote it wasn't actualized only harle ballot access garna sakdain thyo haina so thyo problem exclusionary thyo haina thyo ta bhayo lyo but it's also the fact you know that first wave feminist icons were actually racist ke okay? haina Alice Paul and Amanda Bonny someone who got the 19th amendment ratified and Susan B Anthony who was someone who um led the Seneca Fall Fall conventions they were actually racist ke unsa ni pure parade garyo bhane unsa ni Washington ma ekdamai thulo parade bhako thyo tyo parade ma black women should um black women should march pachadi bhanthyo haina kati jane join e garnu milena bhanthyo so many of these people they were people who supported slavery and you know, on even nativist arguments they have the idea say um women or women are already black men got the right to vote through 15th amendment you know so oh, okay former slaves immigrants stupid immigrants are the vote gonna pay so you money amle koyle pauso bhanne testo khalko arguments hunya thyo ke so first wave was ekdamai thulo criticism yahi ho you know um but also then we did have a few icons my pictures i have so you i think ida bello uh, first ma second is sorge nor truth bhanne ho um if you look at youtube usko puri speech nahi hai entire woman bani hai na so is i can't say but they were also working for it but probably they didn't get as much as attention to the glorify gone na hai na unhi ko the all the burdens man the issues cover gone is the slavery or the hinder sab kuda um so it was extremely exclusionary and it was a racist movement they bani par the first wave of feminism the uh, second kuda the 19th amendment jab pass boni it was actually largely overshadowed ke you the ekdame thulo victory on the decades and decades long pasi women is struck go gore pa ko vichu but tu bela era 18th amendment pani aako thyo haina tela chai alcohol like prohibit gara thyo ani prohibition act bhanera everyone was focused on that you know so it this about the hand it wasn't actually it was largely overshadowed you know and third kuda chai equal rights amendment bhanera ni alice paul le nai lead gara thyo haina tyo chai huncha ni it's not just voting we also want education we want health care bhanu bhani tyo chai tara tyo chai aile samma pani congress le ratify gara chaina hai so this is the first wave um If you have any questions, you can ask me. Now we let's move on to the second wave of feminism. Eh? So second wave of feminism, say it happened around 1963 to 1988. So 60s to 80 ko period ma ho, eh? No, second second wave ba ko say. So you say basically first wave ke continuation, eh? Ma le agi pani suru ma banana say, no? You waves bani kuda say this to. डिस्टिंगटिव हुए हल्का ब्लरी हो लाइन तर हो बिकज इश्यूज के हो तेस को बेसिस में हमें बेसिस में हमें डिफ्रेन्सिट कर सौ है सो तेस में जेन्डर इक्वालिटी हो मोर अन सोशल सोशल इकोनॉमिक इश्यूज को बारे में थे क्या सेकेंड वेव से हो जेन्डर इक्वालिटी जेन्डर डिस्क्रिमिनेशन अब उन्नी पोलिटिकल रेप्रेजेंटेशन पाई सको है अब तो अब हो मोर अन सोशल एंड जेन्डर नोर्म्स तस्त खाल बारे में बारे में थे हाई सेकेंड वेव से सो सेकेंड वेव को एकदम फेमस स्लोगन थे क्या द पर्सनल इज पोलिटिकल भाई है मेरे भी एकदम फेवरेट स्लोगन हो अलग रेडिकल फेमिनिस्टर ने यूज कर स्लोगन है Personal is political when I want to second wave fem- feminists early say, and they basically believed, you know, that after no personal life, but they got the after no aspects of personal life, but they need oppression stem out. So when the idea, okay, money, because they, when they need bodily autonomy, sex, relationships, abortions, domestic labor, you know, you saw that even petty individual could have just to lack so, you know, so they don't analyze society like. But you actually, you know, it's it's something that needs to be politicized. It's something systemic, you know. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, the is to could have like overlook God. भन्छ कहिले पनि हाम्रो फन्डामेन्टल गोल्स हामी वी वुड बी एबल टु अचीव इट भन्ने आइडिया थियो है सो दिस इज एक्चुअली वन अफ मेरो फेभरेट स्लोगन्स पर्सनल इज पोलिटिकल भन्ने सो दैट वाज व्हाट आई थिंक द सेकेन्ड वेव रियली एम्फसाइज्ड अन है सो सेकेन्ड वेव भने एकदमै इन्ट्रेस्टिङ कुरा के हो भन्दा हैन सेकेन्ड वेव वाज एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड एन्ड हेभिली इन्फ्लुएन्स्ड बाइ लिटरेचर के हैन भनेको दुईटा बुकले चाहिँ एले एकदमै इन्फ्लुएन्स गरे है पहिलो कुरा चाहिँ यो फ्रेन्च फिलोसोफर 
um, Simone de Beauvoir, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I don't know how to speak French, um, but she was actually um, a, a philosopher, um, French philosopher and existentialist, I know, who said the second sex, and she wrote this book in 1949, way before uh, the second wave actually materialized, you know, because 63 must start bow. But um, usko even famous sign say one is not born a woman but becomes one bunny idea. Okay. So two book might say if you got the gist by that line, um if you didn't say it it was about this idea that Johnny um gender bunny okay on a society seekone construct of femininity bunny could say we're not born with it bunny idea to it no only the book that actually caused the second wave was the feminine mystique by Betty Friedan, this is in 1963. Malihausi. If you want to, you can go ahead and read this book. Eh? Um, so, Ismate Usi, the problem has that has no name on her bond. So, the problem is that has no name on because basically, your book is a white uh, middle class housewife perspective for the Liha Kitab. Okay, that's it. A woman lay after no husband could like care or so after no bots could like care or so, you know, but ultimately, God, she's so unsatisfied with life. Okay, only that problem, that unsatisfaction is the problem that is no name, you know. So, this is what the hence it was a cost of you, and you know, like them domestic eat, God, you go so on. This up by my Liha, and that was insanely popular, you know, and that literally caused the second wave. Okay, you know, so you do it a literature is a dummy important, say, um, also you. Second wave, say it was also called the Women's Liberation in USA, you know, um, 64th which is a year or two after Betty Friedan wrote The Feminine Mystique. This was say LA American feminist movement, you know, women's liberation movement. So, a few important things about the second wave of feminism, and you said this is probably a little more relevant when we debate, you know, you know, there's only facts and facts to it, no? Um, Poilo could have say gatekeeping, so. There were people who were domesticated and not only so no individual liberty, you know, they had to be housewives, work gonna sock me, you know, make up long point to feminine on a person, smile on a person, two form of gendering to you know. And women were very, very frustrated, you know, and that movement was all about give us um the right to live the way that they want that we want when the idea to again i'm zima that they go so you know we don't want to wear makeup we don't want to wear bras we don't like beauty pigeons but anything that were these traditional domestic roles or you know so when i reject go ahead again i know which i think is was great you know necessary even to all that you will have to correct you but one hand when you're a defined word again what it means to be a feminist you know because a feminist would do well probably not shave our arm arm hairs, you know, um, she would probably not wear makeup, you know, dresses like them, they're hyper-masculine traits, or really, you know, and feminine, like, when you define God, you know, and feminine, like, they're negatively defined God, you know, so this is what I have to say, women who choose to be feminine, um, who didn't, who wanted to be a part of the feminist movement, but didn't believe in taking up so aggressively as so a male traits, when you realize you're not a feminist, when you're bonded, okay, so this is a gatekeeping, boy, right, okay, you're a form, go, so this is what I have to say, Obviously, divisive the boy all your movement, you know, they demand say on a sock and all that. But it also created a lot of stereotypes, you know, uh, say bra burners, hairy lesbians, when the idea to you know, although um they never actually burned bras, you know, you is to call idea and you don't think how support on so to um it lost the support. A second exclusionary first wave just to actively resist it, you know. So to say black women are already they were working, you know. Um, so this is good. Then we need to work while a movement some union associate going is okay that you know also abortion and any reproductive health or go by my two in a second wave that a black woman or realize they were victims of forced sterilization you know so this is this to pause or lay leave out got to give movement there you know that there are a few very notable achievements and a boy let's say equal pay act when in a US ma nearly Theoretically, it's at least gender pay gap and got you in a gender pay gap about my only example for our so also also the main important very very important day you particular case rule versus weed bunny you say abortion cookies to in a you rule rule versus weed to overturn got it out nearly abortion decriminalized got it accessible party and I think that was a very very big achievement of second wave and um this was the or could say um Supreme Court Cases, I know, that's a unmarried woman or any birth control use kind of pony and the same education equality, right? So it was a lot against um, social norms and social rules, but they did um, manage to achieve a lot of tangible things as well. 
So that second wave, you know, um, obviously, let's talk about third wave. Eh? I think second wave or third wave co distinction say it make clear so, you know? because third wave rise okay, as a reaction to second wave, okay? You know? Um but you see double man here, the pure you and say feminine mood, you know, and say we feminists don't wear makeup, we don't wear dresses on it. Third wave they say, oh you know, we want to reclaim feminism, we because it's our choice money idea here. Eh? Um so third wave could say duita igdomi important um aspects to okay? get third wave could say uh poilu uh kura that caused the third wave was the Anita Hill case. Eh? So it's not say you're a law professor, you're a black law professor, um let's say you're a potential Supreme Court nominee, you know, clearance Thomas Money, you're a Supreme Court nominee ko against my allegation right you know, that she got harassed in her workplace when right? the judge your clearance Thomas say only um this was a congressly hearing got you know let's say as a band of Chris government but I realized that to hearing that say Joe Biden went through I know only keep on the hand that hearing was about whether or not uh she really got harassed one you know ultimately um Congress denied it Supreme Court some log in your case they but ultimately it was rejected I know on this go the hand clearance comes the judge bon you know thought all this was filmed I know on this pussy to hearing much it to me insensitively question God okay to kitty like on it I like the law professor they say say any do you have any ulterior motives against and any um clearance Thomas key owns any like Hey, reasons how why are you giving this allegation money put a joke or they even Joe Biden even got us okay I know if you go and look at it it's on YouTube right now so to this league or that's a me to my exactly Z but when he does say Harvey Weinstein go against my Hollywood my era director go against my era um allegation IO on this pussy caught the or a ripple effect just to create but any to build up any same good about it even though two keys I say she didn't receive the justice that she deserved I know um if she really um to prove a bond and basically thought oh this was a victim made a man's area are you gonna have some allegations for bond of value you know so if the me to movement just didn't move me to move movement say it very possible you know hollywood my boko you'd say ignum um national congress my boko hearing go resultly boko to you know so i think third wave is a lot about bodily autonomy you know it's about sexual allegations i know but it's also about this second group right you say right girls one group right right girl one group um so this is actually a punk rock band and i know this sounds very random and i'm pretty supreme court for that to come with your punk rock band i was also like that there is so to get punk rock map in to go like the main positive one and women are who punk rock concerts are going when you are asked to names any women or like said they have to take up masculine roles to industry map and you know um and this is the same basically this is the good at you right now only this was you particular um punk band you say it's an unabashedly feminine boy okay despite being a very successful punk rock band you know put a ponytail style to make up love to women's skirts or love to valley girl accent my guitar go to you know and do you particular band segment their discourses are going on tell you again so any we probably don't want to give up our feminine traits for it i know i mean put it we're going to reclaim it funny idea okay so you band or ruin basically pop culture by and large in a new tubular pop culture people color eyes by that you um this thing to um basically you say they started reclaiming everything they make up traditional gender roles and uh um ijabs or this to everything and all my housewife wants to funny it's my choice funny idea you know this to how go conversations are on tally okay you know so do you understand how this is exactly uh reactionary to the second wave because second wave is on a feminine when they put so in a feminine when they would i know feminist or they go masculine and report so many ideas to money um like choice feminism ko idea to get choice feminism money goes a basically woman or good these who get choices or this i respect corner bar so you know and you already patriarchy my woman or some of the choices one on the ability they do they know so they maximize going the idea you know um also third wave say probably about what is analyzing me to like the fourth wave on so you know but uh basically i think we're in the third wave or some by the side you know and you only go biggest issue of feminism and you know, a biggest concern of feminism is intersectionality you know so what do you mean by intersectionality when you say suppose more you know um um okay not me let's talk about a black woman you know um she's also a woman you know do it a way my she's a minority okay? she's a woman she's also someone who belongs 
from the black community you know so u dui ta way ma minority boy see usko oppression pani in double folds aus okay you know being black or being woman ko thakke intersection ma exist garcha ke u hai na so usko oppression pan tei form ma auncha bhanne idea thyo ke ani feminist movement cha intersectional hunu parcha hai na ekdam historically aba hamle ya purai kura gari sakyo hai na historically ekdam women har lai leave out garira cha na it's high time we cater to women bhanera aile ko main focus chai feminism ko how to make it more intersectional hai na kasai west sanga matra limit na garne hai na um purai third world countries or women are like they only have an idea theory um so like i said my agi dekhi bhanira chu haina feminism bhane ekdam personal ho manche haru le afno life better parna lai patriarchy um lai hunchha ni patriarchy ko effects afno life hunchha ni afno sathi haru afno children you know maybe even other women around ourselves haina amro life better parna parna lai join garchu haina but because it's so subjective haina sab ko afno experience with the patriarchy this is what hence divisive hunchha ke ani aile ko i think one of the biggest challenge ne tei hai so with this um we've come to the end of western feminism the western feminist history um if you have any questions you can go ahead and ask me uh, i know ekdam factual to um but if you want my opinion on anything you'd be happy to share um all right so if you have any you can just leave in the chat box eh so let's talk a little bit about nepali feminism eh because i'm sure that me akoti did a debate going man sir so um no but when maybe feminism my interest book man sir so we have heard of the waves of apoila but i'm pretty sure that most of us don't know about nepali feminism malai pani tha sa bhanne claim garira haina maile malai ali else tha sa because i took a course um tara no bhai cha i think we tend to not know about nepali feminist movement dherai haina and that's i think not because of the fault of our own um kina bhanna han chai nepali feminism ko chai um certain challenges or but a co movement do you know you so this is got the hence information easily accessible it's hoin again you know the same or ye session ma ajay information dinchu bhan the hence articles pan chain you know um so this is got the hence only gari so only information tha pauna lai you know um and this ko reason say nepali feminist movement was largely undocumented ke you know bhane ko i'm sure you know but historically jati space thyo women or like nepali women or contribute karna lai tete ma they might have made a lot of significant contributions that we didn't document we didn't write down you know so this is what hence um aile um ame thane chaina ra yeti tyo cha bhane pani easily accessible chaina you know also nepali parne ban chaina da ekdamai garo huncha um so tyo eda kura cha bujhnu parcha hai nepali feminist movement ko bare ma um ani second kura chai probably compared to the west eh mai le yo introduction cha ekdam west sang compare gardi rasu um nepali feminist sort sang cha historically titi tere capital pan thena ra titi tere space pani thena hola ke activism garna lai haina um and by that i mean um mai le jab yo bujhai rakhe waves of feminism i was talking about a few things eh pailo kura cha i was talking about how suffrage movement haina jaste alice paul bhayo emily davidson's bhayo um davidson bhayo they are all college graduates होइन भनेको एकदमै पढेको वुमेनहरु हो हैन उनीहरुले स्टार्ट गरेको अर्गनाइज मुभमेन्ट हो उनीहरुले पुरै हुन्छ नि अब नसा जस्तो एसोसिएसनहरु बनाएर हुन्छ नि अम विल्सन विड्रो लाइक गरेर ओके लेट्स गो एन्ड हुन्छ नि गिव अस आवर राइट्स भनेर डिमांड गरेको हो हैन दे कम फ्रम गुड फ्यामिलीज सो टु टु लेभल अफ एजुकेशन आइ डोन्ट थिंक नेपाली वुमेनहरुसँग एक्सेसिबल थिएन हिस्टोरिकली हैन आइ डोन्ट थिंक कोइसँग नि थिएन हैन बिकज राना ओलिगार्की थियो र हामीले एजुकेशन को एक्सेस थिएन अनि त्यस्तो खालको त्यस्तो खालको एजुकेटेड सोसाइटी हिस्टोरिकली थिएन नि त नेपाल सो त्यसै गर्दा पनि होला हैन सेकेन्ड कुरा चाहिँ अम नेपाल वजन्ट अ डेमोक्रेसी हैन हिस्टोरिकली अम राना ओलिगार्की थियो मोनार्की थियो कम्पेयर टु द्याट अब मुभमेन्ट्सहरु प्रोटेस्टहरु गर्न हुन्छ नि इभन लिटरेचरली नै क्रिटिसाइज गर्न एकदम इजी थियो है जस्तै यही यो एजुकेसनको कुरामा सेकेन्ड वेभ वज लिटरेली स्टार्टेड बाई बुक्स के हैन सो त्यस्तो खालको पोसिबल नै थिएन के नेपालमा हिस्टोरिकली हैन अनि अल्सो नेपाल चाहिँ प्रोबेब्ली अ लट मोर पेट्रियार्कल थियो होला है आई थिङ्क एटिन फोर्टी एट सेलेका फल्सहरूतिर त युएसहरू पनि पेट्रियार्कल नै थियो तर बिस्तारै त्यो रेट अफ लिबरलाइजेसन चाहिँ एकदमै हाई थियो के बिकज त्यहाँ फेमिनिस्ट वुमेनहरू सक्सेसफुल भइरहेको थियो होइन यङ एजुकेटेड वुमेनहरू एकदम विथ इन्सेन्टिभ्स टु मेक अ चेन्ज आइरहेको थियो भने नेपालमा चाहिँ त्यो त्यो लेभल अफ लिबरलाइजेसन त्यति छिटो भइरहेको थिएन होइन 
So tu, tu pour la bouse nous parce, and we probably need to give them that credit too, right? No, I'm not about when I'm in something too, right? Um, also historically, it is to organize movement quite late, you know, you know, just the first wave, second wave, when I'm just the that track going to suck so that it's to have association or it's an eye or it's a little too Nepal. Um, this was it, you know, again, Nepali feminism and just to organize movement when it's a good thing, you know, um. I think all you say probably is how less status come all you leave because I think feminist uh, movement all you say probably all you say I mean young college graduates or they got us so organizations or they got us on events or regards us so this is how social media would avoid us again at the historical is it you know so how do we look at uh, feminist icons uh, how, how do we look at the Nepali feminist movement historically won that and say I construct events but again you know this is the only ball that all of the information so this could be so we need to draw conclusions and up but you're not going to keep down with you on the hand um I'm not quite a funny West so say right to vote for it's a city struggle going to party nine Wesley the ignomy um feminist movement isn't it a uh, feminist movement ne um this ke basis ma start pako thyo bhane hamro chai diplomacy ko through hai na women who were in positions of power unhele right to vote um uh, acquire gareko thyo ke tyo chai hunchan chandra samsir huni bela bansun ko banai ma hunchan ni hamle padna dinu hamle right to vote dinu bhane bela de ko grant gareko thyo ke women har lai so tesle garda this to struggle chai at least thena hai so aba very briefly hai yo chai um nepali feminist icons or events ko kura garne bela chai um like i said i'm um, so with this to concrete organized movement or at least thyo bhane pani thyo document no bhayera chai hamle on the basis of certain people certain events hamle conclusions draw garnu parcha hai i think um first icon hamle sochne bela chai it's probably rajendra lakshmi hai na uh, i think hamle isko bare ma sabai jani nai padha chau hola hai na because nepali book ma hamro eta ghar jagra bhanne chapter thyo ta tesma usko ra usko devar ko bich ma yahi political conversation Who I know, so I think she was the wife of Pratap Singh Shah. You know, um, and he died pretty early, and she had a very small son who was in power, um, who was crowned. You know, but she only bela, and she was ruling as the queen regent. Okay, you know, and he says, I don't want to talk more about it. It was the exact uh, unification of the. So he, this could be a matter of bonding. No, there are cases of bonds, but then she definitely contributed to Prithvi Narayan Shah with the unification co idea of the right wrong. Let's not get there. So basically, she politically contributed um, towards the whole unification campaign. Eh? Um, second day, Kamala Kaur. Um, I'm sure all of us don't know who she is because Malapan Thati na asipapar thaba ko use bala vadra Kaur ko wife hoy. Um, so um, Kamala Kaur let's say dunyo nala pani yudha bako thoo. Dun say ami sabay thasa pori ko hoy na. To yudha ma se one third woman aru thoo na amle pora so hoy na to. पूरे फोर्ड पर ढुंगा खसा को वुमेन चिल्ड्रेन है है सो तेरी भाई कंट्रीब्यूट कर होल नाला पानी युद्ध स्ट्रैटर्जाइज कर प्लान कर उसको एकदम ठूल आग थो भाई विच वॉज इन सेंसेशनलाइज हो अब हमें सोचने बेला बल्लभद्र कुर उसको पूरे कुकुरी सोच तर कमला कुर ऑल्सो हेड रोल इन दैट हई थर्ड फेमिस्ट आइकन सी इज मेरे पर्सनली फेवरेट फेमिस्ट आइकन हो अलसम मैं पढ़े अनुसार नेपाली फेमिनिजम में योग मैया नि आई थिंक सम अफ अस माइट नो अबाउट इट बिकज वी माइट एव रेड अर वर्क्स रेड अर वर्क योग मैया चाहे शी वॉज अ पोएट है ऊ चाहे एकदम कस्त मं भेन शी वॉज अ विडो हर हस्बेंड डाइड वेन शी वॉज एट इयर्स ओल्ड एंड दिस इज अराउंड नाइन्टीन फोर्टी है एकदम धीरे टाइम बैक तो बेला एकदम पेट्रियाकल हिंदू एकदम कंजर्वेटिव सोसाइटी है तो बेला ऊ विडो भी गट मेरिड ट्वाइस है सी मेरिड समवन फ्रम द ब्राह्मण कास्ट के अजय है तो बेला विडो लाई हो यो हे थो है तो बेला में शी वॉज एबल टू स्टिल हो सब रूल्स ब्रेक कर शी वॉज एबल टू मेरी टू मोर पीपल भनम न आपको चोइस को मानी विच इज अ ग्रेट लाइक इट्स इट्स सीग्निफिकेन्ट जो लगता है मैं शी वॉज अल्सो एन एक्टिविस्ट है दास प्रथा सती प्रथा हो अगेन्स्ट में बोला सो उसे प्रोग्रेसिव टैक्सेशन भी आइडिया लिया अभियसली तेरे तो लिया थे तर हो ये ये कुछ एकदम सोशलिस्ट मैं होना अभी उसे पोएम में एकदम 
Rana oligarchy go against the Likni, no, Igdom criticize Gorni, Igdom to political Kura Likh, okay, to the point that Usko Sabe work or Pasi censor ban go that again, Rana early. I know so this took Halko Mansi theory, you would say. Um, and she was also religious, and other two but I saw it on religious context, it is to her, no, and you say Nepal the first feminist organization, Nari Samiti, one in a found God at three, also even their followers need to people liked her, people worshipped her. Um, one of the most important things about Yoga Maya Nupani is that Usli. Uh, after some 67 or women or who she committed a mass suicide from by jumping from the Arun River as a form of protest against the state. Right? I think my my first time soon you my exam also my life. My thani thani you too my na. Usi before she was successfully able to commit um to mass suicide na and instigated um usi se dui se jana I may or lay uh Arun Nadi ko ma amhala. Toyal Pai Saket, convince Kor Saket, or um Rana, it happened, stop Goryo and imprison Goryo, and he like she got tortured for like Sarpat's for so I know. So when she got out this Pasipani, she committed mass suicide as a protest against the state, and because she was really, really frustrated and Sani uh Burma Marjari Bonsu Bani, um patriarchy some frustrated by the state, some frustrated by the it is to political act got at um or could say olikati less significant but nonetheless um kiyo manahan jab yo bela political movement haru bhaya thyo against ranas and a grassroots movement i thyo congress party haru bp ko ral lead garne bela to bela cha women were contributing as messengers ke um bhani ko chai they were exiled you know um to protest ki bhayo ni mass suicide re um, I'm not sure it's so sure that I just know that Usese she led 67 other women to commit suicide um again um as a protest against the state against Rana so I think um grassroots movements by that way um it was hidden I think could be true I okay on bolla bolla resurface boy yeah so um or kukur as a kyo but then i know um moving on i know if you have any other information you can write in the chat um so do be like not so the grassroots movement i don't know political party reform by that you only run a go against my bp bp kora kora la later was a new lead got at you um to be like what is an hour exiled by that your impression um <laughs> imprisoned by that you know so just the context not a woman or is it to me the information exchange my help for you because they um never my movement only but they get this good publication then you saw to press or is it to stop a girl and say bon honor son of course again i border rather checking them to i know it's to put out a go um will you your job or you go please remove that i'm sorry can you matthew got the annotation matthew got annotation off for doing actually call it what i have is an over on after session by now and it's a mati view option when it comes to annotation off for them so many annotations that they get them on off they want to know i'm only for a million to be screen share but that's it these are um drawn over and this is a draw 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 no i must have a last time around oh okay 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 so Basically, no, that was your grassroots movement by that, you know, border or must a woman or a check or the interview, you know, only woman or it's literally your pamphlets or you have no part to get the look at the doctor again, not the history contribute to the prison or maybe prison guard my camera in my city because woman out the potter suspect Gordon is you know, um, woman or this quite advantage leader basically, um, um, help or you know, your information exchange or cook grammar. Um, okay, so this one. Okay, so theory. Uh, it's not the other time answer, so but this two significant numbers. My name is Nay. Um, or could say, Birahna would do me protest. Say, oh, but I'm not going to claim my sobe protest or kick about my one. It has a one. It's a bond, you know, you know, you know, and then it's a me lamo boku and any workers or the protest corrigo and BP Kurala, Mamu and Otikari, Sotana too, you know. But when Rana or Lee, um, basically when they were jailed, you know. Um, this was a woman stepped in, okay? And only woman only say, um, 2070s, some on some go at you, Ongra strike go at you right now. And this was a, it's not a pregnant woman or even your Ongra strike go at you. You're like, you're a story, so get that, um, you're a pregnant woman is a bot say by you protest going to be land the bots are going to me or Talika when they had to get so it's a little protest my participate got a protester lead got a baby, uh, we are not going to 
जुट मिल प्रोटेस्ट को कुरा में अर्क एकदम फेमस पोलिटिकल नेम शैलजा आचार्य हो शैलजा आचार्य वॉज रिटेड टू द कोईराला फैमिली विच इज द डिनेस्टिकल फैमिली अफ ने उ इंडिया को गांधीज हु जस्ते सो ऊ एकदम पोलिटिकली एक्टिव सत्रह वर्ष देखि प पोलिटिक्स में लगे प्रोटेस्ट में लगे एकदम फेमस उ महेन्द्र ने कालो झंडा झंडा देखा है एकदम पंचायत को अगेन्स्ट में प्रोटेस्ट करने मं हो अभी अल्सो झापा विद्रोह रवोस्ट इन्सर्जेन्सी है इसमें वुमेन ने आर्म्स नहीं लिखे हो कि एकदम भाइलेंटली मिलिटेंट जस नहीं काम कर मवोस्ट इन्सर्जेन्सी में नहीं नाइन्टीन टू थर्टी फाइव इयर ओल्ड अ वुमेन मेड अप वन थर्ड अफ तो सब पीपल हु आर फाइटिंग है तर तो एकदम फ्यूटाइल भैन बिकज कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी पावर में आए पे जे जे प्रमिश कराए थे वुमेन को भैन भाई आइडिया हाई विल गेट बैक टू दैट इन अ मिनट अल्सो अनदर वेरी इंपोर्टेंट इवेंट वॉज नमिता सरी नमिता सुनीता रेप केस हाई सो मैं एकदम रिसेंटली था इसके बारे में अब आई डोट नो इफ इट्स बिकज मैं पढ़ा थी इसके बारे में है दिस हेपन्ड इन नाइन्टीन एटी है सचिव को दुईटा छोरी नमिता और सुनीता रहा अर्क कजन थे उन्नीर को उन्नीर से एकदम गुड फैमिली बट पावरफुल फैमिली बट आगे मैं अर है दिल्ली में पढ़ने रहे अभी एसएलसी को छुट्टी में उन्नी बेसिकली पोखरा ट्रिप को गई है अभी दे गट रेप्ड इन द बैंक अफ सेती नदी सेती रिवर है अभी उन्नी बडी भी एकजा को दु तीन दिन पीछे भेटो अर्क को एक हफ्ता पीछे अर्क को एक वर्ष पीछे भेट रहा थे क्या सो ते दे गट रिप्ड अभी एकदम ठूल प्रोटेस्ट भाथ क्या विटनेस थी है केस में विटनेस गायब कर दिए क्या समन किल द विटनेस है अभी एकदम के इसमें दे वर स्पेक्युलेसन्स आई एम नट सींग दिस बट दे वर स्पेक्युलेसन्स दैट Someone from the royal family, you know, king, some people get it, okay? Like accusation. So it's basically conspiracy theories, also, right? You no, know? um, that royal family, okay, means you're involved to a small bunny idea, right? You no. Know? So this is called the hint. This got a totally politicized, okay? And then, only I mean, so the new one, the Ponto, call it, call it protest. Did you might be got it, right? You know, nationally, did you, right? No. Two one, double means you're streets, my protest, right? Okay. Um. सो निर्मला पंत पोलिटिकाइज थी होना टू वेरी लार्ज एक्सटेन्ट तेज मैं प्रोटेस्ट प्रोटेस्ट कर आक है सो यह प्रोटेस्ट लिया हत्याकांड डेमोक्रेसी लियाने वन अफ द फैक्टर्स भाषा के है मेरे पर्सनल ओपिनियन दिखाई है मैं आई थिंक इट्स रियली रियली गुड है दैट मैं प्रोटेस्ट करना आयो पीपल रियलाइज हाउ रंग दिस वॉज है अभी यू वी नेवर गट टू दी एंड अफ इट बिकज वेन किंग ज्ञानेन्द्र वॉज केम इन टू पावर उसे Ten days after he was um, appointed, you know, would say um, he closed the case. Yeah, you know. So this is why the hand man said, actually, you rape case, man. That Aku, he power co abuse, man. That Aku, man. It's a me. It's a personally, I think it's second reason, yeah, because rape cases got too. So I know, normally, upon the company, what's it gonna? It's not key key. Put out Aku. So it's just the perpetrators. It's a position of power, man. So it's not politicized. Ni baat hoy, you know. Um, so. I think it's too bad, but they rape case it becomes a means um, to a bigger picture, okay? So, which I think is, so I understand, you know, lamb rape only, oh, it's man's job. I just want, um, yeah, the 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 level some of police size go in, but yeah, the man's job. So, say perpetrator, say position of power, man, someone, so maybe, you know, justice, it's like that, you know. So, why are we only sensationalizing these kind of issues when there's any power abuse going on? Okay, so this is not a rape case, but this is even thinner, you know. But even the whole of India, I could say, you know, this too, no power is just like that because how many of the Dalit community women are like how many is to have the injustice by around so rape cases, you know. Till is a quite a new level of spotlight put there, right? But anyway, I could say this was inconclusive, and this was also one of the major, major events, right? Eh? um i mean nepali feminist history in nepali feminist movement in nepali um so that's feminist history um nepal ko hai na ab aile se let's move on to aile ko context ma ke chha ta ekdam briefly bhanchu hai ma um aile se hamsang 33% reservations of parliament ma nepal ma chai hamle constitutionally ra bottom to upro bottom to top to bottom approach se ekdam e ramrari fulfill gayo chha okay na um ra also 40.9% se local government ma cha um you know me provision se first past the post uh, proportional representation article 
Basically, you have a bracket leaked out. But basically, you have 33% reservation. And 40.9% women are local government. must have affirmative action. So, you think, you know, actually, you know, women are like, position of power ma huncha bhanda pani election committee le chai yadi eti eti khalko um reservation actualize bhako saina bhanche um you can't compete bhanera eta lagda sa ke barrier so tese garda khel chai that's the reason why it's successful you know um and also at a certain point in time ma amro uh, female president female speaker of the parliament um the female chief justice to in a supreme court go so you think the positions of women are legal so it's the way the hen nepal say south asia ma one of the most liberal democracies so like so you know um you have some significant achievements when you move i know the one you know um but um actually powers how to you women or so now when you could okay no you know what then do women are a position of power my son in nepal now they're either there because of um some kind of nepotism you know kita koira la family ko unsa kita they're married to any politicians you know um kita they're treated as tokens you know bani ko chan power ma tara actually they don't have the power to make decisions you know kita they're in ceremonial positions i just say president on the ceremonial position you know um chief justice pan jarne in beach bhako thyo you purano purano cases haru khulda tar you to ab again isko arke debate side no let's not go there so main issue bhane aile nepali politics ma chai um representation versus meaningful participation okay representation le pugine ra chaina haina jasai 33% wala jun policy cha hamle um nepal communist party ma heru bhane yo esto khalko statistics dekhcha okay secretariat ma koi chaina women haina uh standing committee ma ni 3 3 out of 45 women um people are women haina अभी सेंट्रल कमिटी में तो झन फोर फोर्टी वन में सेवेन्टी फाइव वा वुमेन है कि नेपाल कंग्रेस पार्टी में नहीं वन आउट अफ एट अफिस बिहेस तो ट्रेजर मात्र जो स्टेयर टाइप हो दैट वुमेन डोन्ट वुमेन कैन बी ट्रस्ट विथ मनी भाई आइडिया सो तस्तुले ट्रेजर को पोजिशन में है सेंट्रल कमिटी में ओनली सेवेन्टी टू वुमेन्स है सो तो एक्चुअली छाइन अच्छे 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 एटा हेन है स्टेट ओन पब्लिक एंटरप्राइजेस लाइक पब्लिक एंटरप्राइजेस में स्टेट ओन एंटरप्राइजेस में जैसे नेपाल टेलीजन रेडियो कोई वुमेन ने लीड कर ऑल्सो एम्बेसडर पोजिशन में वुमेन आर एंड कंसिडर जो कंसिडर करा थे उसको पूरे पब्लिक पर्सोना पूरे म्यूटिलेट कर मीडिया ने सो यो यो इश्यूज है जैसे हम कन्स्टिट्यूशन ने कि डेप्युटी कि मेन पोजिशन में वुमेन होने पर्स भाई तो प्रोविशन लाने भाई नाइन्टी वन पर्सेंट अफ डेप्युटी वुमेन वुमेन ने लीक है सो इसमें एट कुछ भाई हमें आई थिंक All of us might have heard this, you know. Um, COVID crisis, say, you know, women will lead our own countries. Are they better handle by us? Some money. So, you know, pure dialogue. I could say you acknowledgement. I could say, you know, um, the same. Um, US, Madhun Trump, so, kita Brazil, ma Bolsonaro, kita India, ma Modi, you know, even your masculine traits, but this to help the leaders a little. I'm really handle going to stop, you know. But Germany, Finland, um, Taiwan, um, and so on. It's just the countries, man. That's a woman or. position of um power that women will lead go that two countries is significantly better handle go so your covid when idea to right now um on you so basically is the reason say women are the cabinet more diverse and so on you know um more collaborative leadership there is also more empathetic and so on idea to so is to how to analyze this so now only articles are put out that but this is also true in nepal in nepal ma pani hamle जुमला है जहाँ से वुमेन मेयर थो ये नाइन्टी वन नाइन्टी वन पर्सेंट में नाइन पर्सेंट में जो जो वुमेन पोजिशन अफ पावर में लीड कर एज मेयर्स तो प्लेसेस बेटर हेन्डल कर कोविड सो जुमला में है पेदी नहीं अवेरनेस को कैंपेन्स यो ये कुछ भैर थोड़े भाई सो दैट्स अल्सो वुमेन इन नेपाली पोलिटिक्स ये मत भन हई देर इज अ लट मोर टू रीड um just the media representation cost to so is to to manner so if you want resources you can tell me i can recommend it to you so it you way my ekdam objective um content deko um history of feminism and nepali feminism ma um nepali feminism but if you can read more eh? because mala pani dherai tha sa na mani learn nai garda su bistare so let's all try to read more um but let's talk about how to debate feminism eh Um, so, point of order, let's talk about matter filing. Um, if some of us are new here, matter filing money. Because basically, I'm like 
debate my better on lay we read articles and then we read research papers we watch videos then any all debates and so and this is we note it down okay somewhere then most debaters make google docs about it um koi koi say paper mein likh sakte na so this so collection of arguments and so collection of matter and like matter finding also you know um do the like do the kurai matter finding also pehla kurai say um ami dere social justice motions nahi not just feminism there are social justice motions nahi we tend to not do a lot of matter filing or case filing is okay also ni just like so na ami jati ir or jati porso hai na icon motions are kurai ban kiti pordan hola um which is not okay त्यसै गर्दा नै हामी डिबेटहरू हार्छौँ होला बिकज धेरै इस्युजहरू थाहा हुनुपर्छ होइन मैले त हिस्ट्रीको कुरा गरेँ तर प्रेजेन्टमा त झन् कति इस्युज हुन्छ होइन सेकेन्ड जुन पर्सेप्सन छ ओके आई एम रियली सरी मैले भर्खर च्याट हेरेँ होइन आशिष जीले चाहिँ द रिजन बिहाइन्ड द मास सुसाइड फोर यङ लिडर्स वर क्याम्पेनिङ फर डेमोक्रेसी अगेन्स्ट राना रुल फर सेन्टेन्स इज एन गिभन ह्युज शक टु युग माय एन अर रिजल्ट इज साइड सेक्रिफाइस या सो बेसिकली त्यो चार जना मार्टिरहरु सहिद गेटमा जसो जसो चाहिँ हामी देख्छ उनीहरुले उनीहरुले मार्टिरडम पायो र हुन्छ नि अब हामी पनि त्यही मिन्स अफ प्रोटेस्टमा जाने भनेर चाहिँ गरेको हो also uh, add sources of articles okay i'll do that i'll do that don't worry eh um so matter filing ko te te yo kurai no ani second perception se ki sa man han debaters feminist debates se women are jit sa hunchha ni tyo jasto lgbtq ko debates se hunchha ni someone who's from that community man jit sa bhanne kurai again again mai yo tin char chori bhanchha ke tar feri bhanchha lived experiences important hunchha na tar jastai mai le haina aba if there is a debate on pay gap more as a woman who lives in nepal who's a student who is not working mal to kosari jitsu ta na so there in once is unsa so that's not necessarily true who well, lived in uh, experience the advantage din sa hola na but i'm sure that if we are uh, as male debaters i'm like padyo bhane pani hamle sakso hai na so this is not sakne cha hai na also women are ne padne parcha ke ultimately hai na so it's about um reading um to compensate what you lack in lived experiences ni hola hai to some extent so kosai se bona hunta bhanne hai na so i mean social justice ko issues hai ne bela chai hai na i understand ekdamai diverse huncha jastai aile bhakha ni ki ki ko kura har sakha hamle hai na ase mal ta stereos ko ma ki ki bhayira cha tesko kura thukai chhuna hai na so ekdamai diverse huncha hai na ani ekdamai rapidly changing huncha bhanne kura and true hai na um current issues bhayira hai na so tesai garda hai chai first way to research is to compartmentalize but you say lo as a more women in politics is so many and this my research got me you know on this person okay i i think i've done sufficient research in that i get the idea you know obviously i'm a woman's representation in media is so many you know so this is compartmentalize but i think this is like valid for everything else not just feminism you know so this we got him and say easier runs up you know a little less overwhelming runs up um second say social media it's the main ram root to say so it's the way i are or like like for that the economics type or for never happen we can just um read a really good um and then in journalist house publishing house um newspaper ram root newspaper for them and basically also arguments we get the idea the feminism go it's not enough for them also because जैसे इकोनमिस्ट हो हमें पल्ट हे न्यूयोर्क टाइम्स हे एक दुईटा आर्टिकल्स होता फेमिलिस्ट में कि आर्टिकल्स में एक दुटा आर्ग्युमेंट्स होता फेमिलिज्म के बारे में तर ते होता आई डोट थिंक यू गेट व्हाट द इश्यूज आर इफ यू जस्ट रीड दैट के एंड आई थिंक दैट्स नट इनफ है अल्सो कति जाना इनएक्सेबल भी होना सकता है सो ते ट्राई टू फलो दीज पेजेस ऑन सोशल मीडिया सो मैं यहाँ लेख तैंसु है नाम यू कैन टेक अ स्क्रीनशट um no it's my you can copy paste code so but see um the west ko let's say the root.com but it's a very famous song um contrapoints when it's famous so contrapoints is a trans woman she's a youtuber who says a feminism but no more specifically um gender issues or the quran versus that you in sales or the barma who's going to take the melam say like two hours the stones up but if you can put put up with that kita ek turi ni hinu pari na na um if you can put up with that um i think ekdam ramro content unsa contra points ko arko pink news um women on the internet i think vox ko pani particularly mala aru sabai news house bana 
बॉक्स से एकदम राम भिडियोज आर्टिकल्स भी निकल सकता जैसे ये वेब्स अफ फेमिनिज में एकदम डिटेल आर्टिकल स इंस्टाग्राम पेज फेमिनिस्ट हर स्टोरी भो आई थिंक जो एक्टिविजम कर फेमिनिजम को में मोस्ट पीपल फलो दिज पेज ऑन फेसबुक इंस्टाग्राम ट्विटर हाई नेपाली फेमिनिस्ट तान नेपाल नुन श्रीपादी को अर्गनाइजेशन बड़ी एंड डेटा पोलिटिकल लिटरसिप फर वुमेन को कोर्स नहीं होनी ह्यूमन्स अफ पीट्री अगर यू नट नेपाली तर साउथ एशियन सो हो आई थिंक स्पेशली बिकज वेर फ्रम नेपाल है वी सुड प्रोबली एक्सप्लोर इस ह्यूमन्स अफ पीट्री आर्की जो पेजेस है इंडियन होर पेजेस बट स्टिल आई थिंक इट्स वर्थ इट हाई अल्सो आई थिंक दिस इज द क्विकेस्ट एंड द मोस्ट एफिशियंट वे टू किप योर सेल्फ अपडेटेड फोन से मैं um contra points is totally worth it thought oh yeah i love her too right so try to read more and stay updated on social media and follow her name um so let's talk about impacting feminist arguments eh so i think we really really don't know how to impact feminist arguments because and they exactly के सल्व कर मोशन ने भाई कुरा नहीं बुझ्दन हो जो लगता है मैं धीरे एकदम एक्सपीरियंस डिबेटर्स प्रब्लम यही फेस कर सो अ फ्यू थिंग्स हाई मैं पांचवटा कुछ भू इस पैलो कुरैट हम गोल अफ मेकिंग अ फेमिनिस्ट आर्ग्युमेंट सुड बी टू मेक द लाइफ अफ वुमेन मटेरियली बेटर के है अल्टिमेटली गए तो वुमेन लाइन बेनिफिट होने पर्स क्या जो टेन्जिबली देखा पर्स क्या बेनिफिट हो पेट्री आगे जो तो भाई है सो यू के भाई हेन वेन यू डिबेट डोन्ट मिस द लिंक बिट्विन द मोशन एंड द लाइफ अफ दिज वुमेन हाई सो यू इट्स प्रोबली ट्रू फर अरू लाइक हो माइनोरिटी डिबेट्स तर तो मानेला हो डिबेट को स्टेक होल्डर को हेन को सट्टा है एट ह्यूमन बिइंग हो जिस हेन पर्यटन विच आई नो साउंड हल्का भेग है एज एन एडवाइस तर यू नीड टू बी एबल टू एम्पथाइज विथ दैट पर्सन के है स्पेशली इफ यू डोट कम फ्रम दैट कम्युनिटी है जो हो जैसे वुमेन ये हिस्टोरिकली डिसएनफ्रेंचाइज होने बेला कसो फील कर अब सेकेंड वेफ को बेला में हो यू कर मेकअप लगा स्माइल कर हो पोलाइट बन हो मैन स्प्रेड नगर यो भेला कस्त फील करते होने यू नीड टू पुट युर्स इन दैट पोजिशन के रादर दैन सेंग वुमेन यो यो भाई आइडिया है एकदम तो जेनेरिक बेसिक आर्ग्युमेंट लिया को सट्टा आई थिंक बेस्ट वे टू फर्म एन आर्ग्युमेंट ते हो जस्ते हो कैपिटलिज्म को डिबेट में हो इक्वल सेक्सुअलाइजेशन अफ मेन एज अपोज टू वुमेन में हो अब कैपिटलिज्म में वुमेन कुन फर्म में ओप्रेस्ड हो इन एवरी डे है कि सेक्सुअलाइज फील होने बेला हो अब मेल गेज भैन विच इज बेसिकली दिस आइडिया दैट पप कल्चर आर्ट और सब इन विच वुमेन हो वुमेन डिपेक्ट कर रहा हो इट्स टू प्लीज द गेज अफ अ हेड और सेक्सुअल मैन भाई आइडिया हो किसरी बनाक होने आइडिया है सो तस्त मेल गीज किटर करने बेला आपू कस्तो ट्रिव्युअल फील हो कि आपू ते मेल गीज किटर करने बेला तेई नहीं कति वुमेन को एम्पावरमेंट हो कि आई थिंक तस्त एक्सप्लोर कर क्या है दिस इज द प्राइमेरी आइडिया हाई अर्क नक अन इफेक्ट है आई थिंक दिस इज वेरी वेरी ट्रू है वुमेन से दे आर अफेक्टेड बियंड द डिरेक्ट इफेक्ट दैट कम्स विथ Um, the problem the motion is trying to solve. You want to go say this is capitalism. Go this is sexualization. Go debate some of it. You know, women are this. Ask no perception. Unsa ni actresses or who um beauty standards from the beyond. Unsa you know, jun mirror life say unrelated aspects of mirror life. Jun say unrelated lakh. So this ma pani impact by down. So pati chodi mane booz no par say. Is problem is ma only go the particular or so you know. They're basically. um how will you help these women you know how will you help these women who are suffering in the status quo you know who are uncomfortable who are unsafe you know so to kosi how will you make their lives materially better when you could as a main goal on per se um second say sexual violence and rape culture um so is my day क्यों भादा है लेट्स टक अ लिटल बिट अबाउट रेप कल्चर एंड सेक्सुअल भाइलेंस है सो रेप कल्चर इट्स बेसिकली दिस आइडिया है जहाँ से विक्टिम्स अफ सेक्सुअल भाइलेंस और रेप दे आर इन दी प्राओरिटी अनि दे एंड अफ सफरिंग मोर बाई ट्रिटमेंट अफ द पुलिस कि कोर्ट है सो बेसिकली इट्स दिस काइंड अफ कल्चर दैट डजन सिंपथाइज विथ द विक्टिम है झन विक्टिम गाड़ो पारने है स्पेशली सेक्सुअल भाइलेंस को विक्टिम रेप को विक्टिम है सो तो हो रेप कल्चर को सो एक दुरा कुछ बुझ्पर्स हाई 
um, scale of the problem and a scale of how unsafe it, it really is for women, how traumatic um, sexual violence is, re- being raped is, to could have been downplayed in the status quo. For people who've never suffered through that kind of experience, they will not be able to empathize. Um, for women who do, they don't want to talk about it. So this is a good discourse. Advocacy is not a focus. Um, even though it's a good thing. largely downplayed. Sign, no? Statistics are disputed. How many people register in the rape cases? How many people have evidence signs? How many people have evidence signs? Traumatic ones. So, this is the statistics um, disputed so already. There are many cases are registered. But you know, no? um, or could I keep us on for some other hand? Um, it's so stories are say it's also dismissed very easily. You know, to say, um, if I post a tweet saying, okay, I got harassed, you know, I mean, I, mean, I don't trust men, money, money. Not all men, you know, men get raped too, but you know, men's right activists also, you know. Um, I don't have any problem with that. And I think not all men say true, Allah, men get raped too, but true, Allah. Tara, why are we only engaging in that activism as a reaction to a woman coming out um, with her traumatic story? You know? Why is it only a reaction to feminism? Okay? You know? So, this is what I can say. When men say things like not all men, they say that accountability is not okay? you know, because to a personal attack, it's also acknowledging the fact that it's also not acknowledging the fact that other men could potentially be um, a problem in the idea. Right? Um, also, I think it's also making the whole thing about themselves when you know, just say, um, when you're a woman, you're a sensitive person, not all men, but a personal person. I think it's quite um, disrespectful, eh? So this is this is how it's status quo. I think debaters are really liberal, so it's different than that. I think it's quite common. Um, also, false allegation go kura, na just say, I mean, rape culture go kura garne bela, me too go kura garne bela. So everyone is skeptical, eh? I know false allegation ho one side. Now, just say, poko sa historically that's true, I know. Um, but still, I think false allegation go kura. Listen, it's not a harm worse, okay? Because yeah, when Lee has been recovering from trauma, but you know, it's not an intensive trauma. So that you know, um, it's important to feel that you're in control, you know, of your life and especially of your body, you know. Trauma co reaction, um, the trauma co main impact, but okay, after out of control feel going on, you know. Um, any, when any sexual violence, it's to control after body, my especially my body, you know, then I know after. Bodily autonomy ne infringed so so like some of the man's yole. Um so to 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 say Zoba me false allegation laki one genuine victim like you have one, I think to skepticism it makes everything worse. I mean it makes women not want to come out with their story and say. Um so you you wanna eat them important though, I know any orko orko could say um I think we need to acknowledge this in general, like beyond this session. He could have wasn't some on the hand. Perpetrators, it will not be, it will not always be a random person in the street who will attack you, you know, um, but it will most likely be, you know, because two thirds of sexual assault are committed by people you know, but you know, you know, friends, you know, family, you know, 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 so this is what I'm saying, portrayal of rapists as monsters, they sound problematic, okay, like, obviously they're monsters, you know, but, uh, just saying that, oh, these are these extreme um, evil monsters, you know, so it's like normal, you know, but narrative, it's problematic because it could be anyone, you know, I mean, this is the two narratives, say, you know, um, we, we should probably try to leave that out, eh? And also, um, death penalty, um, death penalty, I know it's another debate in itself, I know, um, a lot of people don't support death penalty in, in large, but only, Globally, women are black, which is capital punishment. If it's your uncle who is the perpetrator, um, and if you're going to report it, Death penalty, but the world, ma, you have to live with the guilt of killing your uncle, okay? even though he's your perpetrator, you know. So this is what I want to say. Is to is to cura. Is a woman or like, I want to like after stories or someone, so I need to come out with their stories. 
probably ekdame dheri inhibitions inhibitors or rakso la deter gorso la we should try to break it down eh, as much as possible also i think death penalty ko orko problem bhane ko zain ekdam manche hole they look at it as this ultimate thing you know ultimate punishment for rape i know and this got the death penalty is solved got so enough deterrence hunsa bhane ideas i know there are at a lot of instances um sexual violence rape culture itself ne failure of the state or you know the say education be good and the rape perpetrators as a lower socio economic backgrounds but also even though the me to movement or they have so do pani hun saksa ina mane to even generalize gona khuje na tara statistically say um anse ni about this the khal ko um morality is how bani you know because if you don't think that rape is heinous that's the point in time you tend to commit all these kind of things you know so this is what i can say this to man say ru say probably state le better cater gona sakthyo hola you know and death penalty dinu bhane ko chai jan state lai nai okay take this person's life bhane deko or state le enough kaam gara chai nai so probably ali kati more structural level ma change vyau nai um ko opportunity cost ma aunsa hola bhane idea sai um so basically is this how you know kura haru chai tara ke bujhnu parcha bhanda han when you lay out these arguments you know it needs to be done sensitively ab you the if you go to tournaments equity team nahi bancha an mali equity side bada matra bhane hain hain na tara basically society le chai women lai centric nahi banaudaina ke esto kura haru ko esto conversation haru kura ma rape culture le didaina hain na tara your argument needs to focus on women hain na and it shouldn't disempower women more you know and you survivors are going to say better banauni hunchu ni ultimately say you particular woman or like kasari help huncha bhane kura lai ni centric banaunu parcha ke aphno argument la and that's how your argument basically improves and how do you create a safer or a better world when you idea way okay um so let's move on to the economic side eh? um so the sexual um violation or violence or kuragoryo of economic say um again a little bit about sexual harassment you know this woman or is oily increasingly they feel alienated from the workplace not just because of capitalism but because uh, sexual harassment is even pervasive in the workplace na and um it makes them feel very unsafe you know even disrespected um kame garna mala lagda na hola you know probably privacy hudaina you know, ki huncha ekdam disrespectful like even disrespectful and so you know um okay i'm a case and um okay so um in term sexual harassment due is poor reasons and so you know work this man just me to allegation ma pani hollywood ma thyo you know um any time ko case man it was her colleague who harassed her you know um so in term alienated feel gona and so any um you could as a factor in going for say say in debates about creating all women's organization and you know, probably you safe space kin importance of women or like progress karna this is so arguments are them valued so if you can um substantiate it you know um and or cause a pink tax ko kura i think all of us okay i'm going to assume a lot of us know you know then you popular kura ne you know basically um women ko products or say men man the body and so you know um to say um razors or clothes or um to say women ordinarily need to pay more uh, they're more expensive when you idea when up in taxes say so to when you're a kura ho um sorry economic uh, aspect ma um also that on sanitary products you know there's a 13% fat on so and to know the basic need ho when to our conversation is sorry economic kura economic sides of feminism in bela and also pay gap ko kura ho na um so pay gap bani ko se ekdam um old feminist debate ho na um bani ko se kati jan le pay gap exist garde na kati jan le exist gari bani choices exist garcha esto esto bancha hai na so wage gap so man chhe ke bancha bhanda han gender pay gap exist uh gender wage gap exist garde na bhanera bancha ke so gender wage gap bani ko se if i am working um so suppose if i'm giving this session um and i get paid um um lesser for the exact same session than if another male counterpart would be giving this session instead um do what one say 
that's wage gap, you know? by the way, I'm not getting paid for this session, but just an example, and you know? basically, same kam kulay, um, if a man gets paid higher, or more like women gets paid less, you know, they say wage gap, you know, um, there are pay gap say, about, in good debates, say, you say, um, but not everyone is denying or so that um, pay gap exists or the normal, you know, because when you say that pay gap exists, or so when your organizations are the women are like higher, or so many, but they have arguments or so. There are in good debates, say, um, pay gap say it's out of the choices that women make on the idea, okay, because usually, you know, so when women are usually part time, come or so, you know, they say they don't earn as much. Uh, their mothers are responsible to you, and wives and so household responsible to you, and so maternity leaves are there. But you know, Korea like the main delay got done, so the same, um, same ones, so male counterparts, so same position ones, so um, and this was you, they just go out the office for continue nine months, nine months, no, but I'm thought a certain time from all in on this was the male lead, say male counterparts is at the level of networking or so, they just say how promotions also, they say advanced course, and women is already left behind, you know, so that's how it works, you know, honestly, one about that. Um, so this was the arguments also, so in a good debate, you know, um, it's basically out of the choices that women make, and you women could choice, so, so one idea, you know, and one of the ways you can refute that argument would be saying that women are equally consented, you know, you know, big up one idea, okay, basically, um, choice is funny, it's a social expectation um, that's placed upon women, you know, gender norms, and so on, you know, parenting in Nepal, so, you know, woman, mother, no, we're gonna, sad in this, you know, society, the best thing, you know, this is a woman, you know, um, that's an on the net, you know, but I'm sorry, you get the point, you know, it's difficult for women, um, to not be mothers, you know, to not make that choice, also to, to pressure, you know, so to get married, you know, all those things, you know, um, so not to have children is not really an option, right? To a lot of women, and also, just because you want to have children, um, doesn't necessarily mean that you also want to compromise on your career, you know. So this could like consent, gornu to desire, gornu bani. Could say, um, mo, you know, you or could say give up course to exclusive, you know, bani idea, bani you get, know. Um, so. And then expensive childcare, say accessible, so you know, you know, women or relay, um, somebody for grown up, you know, heterosexual relationships or single women, like you know, LGBTQ plus relationship, as it's so gendering, then okay, that's why people say that LGBTQ plus marriages are in the middle of the um, gay men go marriage is the best form of marriage, once again, because um, um, like lesbian marriages, not the do is an egg them emotionally needy, you know, um, inherently biologically, you know. Um, um, heterosexual marriages, but women are they they're not your gendering, they got a household cook task, they hear parenting, they parenting a burden, they hear on the mother would want to compromise the hear this is got a gendering, and so on it. This is got the hands a um, women need to compromise a lot on it. This is got the hands a dissatisfaction, so the um, you know, gay man, gay, gay men go marriage, but say. Um, emotional needs high, you know, but they understand that they need to go out of the way. Um, to emotionally communicate with each other, you know, and this is what they say. Um, in the balance too, so on, you know, this is gendering, but you know, many idea, you know, basically. Um, so heterosexual relationship, let's say, in the main problematic ones, a single woman like any girl, so you know. So the theory, economic arguments, say. But let's talk a little bit about political exclusion, you know. So feminist debate, my, you know, main important thing to remember about feminist arguments, feminist debate, is this idea of narratives and internalization, you know? So, internalized misogyny, which is exclusive to what I've written in the slide, it's uh, all internalized misogyny, feminists, we are against the patriarchy, you know? But uh, it isn't the patriarch who's always um, making us the victim of the patriarch. For example, my dad was probably the patriarch of my house. My mom didn't know that. But the reasons are this thing, right? But basically, how do you know women are really in a misogyny create going on? So misogyny perpetuate going on? So women are really in so. Um, all the women go life dika pani. Um, mira mom banda pani. Sasu ru unzani. This is this to sasu bahu bahu de buari unzani. This to khalko um, zunse ami relationships or dekhsa ni. This to this to maze 
oppressors are necessarily men who can okay i know um so to to this how you know internalized misogyny but it was a good idea you've internalized one idea you know internalized one you just you know perception um this is sheep boy you i know that's how you think one idea you know so um it's a movement or the narratives from internalization is an important part okay when you could say um you're an example right? so, suppose politics of women china when you're young woman it to dick they can work in sorry you know sami you know we're nepali woman and they has a woman enough politics you know this is what that um it's true you know they say male politicians from the feminist students of so you know um but uh it's not because they affect our some other hands say not only do we think that we have less career options to choose from you know let's say politics so we rule it out you know we're not incentivized to be political or politically active or think of it as a career um but it also enforces the narrative that women are not supposed to be in charge you know so this is the internalized course like your narratives you know um so my only knock on effect ko barema bhane ni jun chai ma pachi kura garchu bhane ra um first kura garne bela um just say now um if you are someone who's grew, who's grown up thinking that politics is inaccessible to you as a career you know because there aren't enough women in positions of power um then you think that women shouldn't be in charge or shouldn't be taking leadership um i know this the positions may they know but you see you are probably less likely to go and ask for a raise to your employer or go and negotiate any idea okay so you don't need to go to politics and you know? suppose my pussy um doctor one day you know stem ma go there you know this possibility i'm like unlikely to do that you know so this is a even though miru to any raise magni or miru stem ko career isn't directly affiliated with miru political um perception you know or miru desire to not be in politics or be in politics it still affects me okay? so is to have a knock on effect on so which is like secondary but nonetheless cumulative effect when it comes to per se um so is to a narrative ko kura te so narrative ko kura ma te ki bujnu parcha bhanhan amne internalized misogyny ko kura garne bela se we think that these narratives affect women only you know because internalized misogyny tha you know narratives internalized ko so ultimately dukh paune women le ho bhanne idea you know so it's as much about the society um the greater society as much as it is about how it affects the women you know you know it's a normal example eh lgbt community ko um jab you same sex marriages or policy i know you know bokko introduce bhayira thyo thyo bela chai politicians are the narrative push kare thake that lgbtq plus community ko manche haru so they make better parents bhanne idea thyo you know um this is kasari bhanda hai they abo hunchi ni arko manche um after gender ko huncha uh, sorry after sex ko huncha ani um they lay compensate garne they put in a lot of effort and statistically it's true banera you narrative push kare ke politicians they hai na and ultimately gara is it say this actually turned into um a tangible vote you know tangible benefit because this like it a positive reinforcement of the book okay no and this got the hand say uh, people wanted to vote for same sex marriages and the actual policy change like okay? so narratives are not necessarily normal no so internalization and ramro pani huncha but it's also about greater society so jab ami narratives ko kura garcha it's about women but it's also about how the society perceives um perceives like women and the feminist movement okay you know example is here um um you know debate on pop stars being hypersexualized you know my thai emotion i know so basically cardi b could do the rap video so if you've seen it or maybe you know this is just a video they normally bone it on so where she aggressively hypersexualizes herself i know um is that good or bad while well, it debates so you know some somewhere in that line but i'm not um this was it no um i think narratives ko kura ekdam important huncha ke jaste um on one hand it's this idea that women are taking control of their sexuality also women of color because two video particular say it's made by two women of color and two black women um also it's also maybe you know historically say um male rappers are always qualified they need about ko chan so they benefit gora so you know um women are body they sexualize gora objectify gora you know um so obviously it's women taking in control you know taking control of their sexuality you know to one or a form of ekdam extreme and also positive uh, form of empowerment or any idea and so on you know and also 
um side but it's you know it probably perpetuates the narrative that or the perception that women are sex objects you know sexualization itself is harmful so cause it is harmful so or debate or so like so this is it you know um even though it benefits cardi b the rapper and the women who are doing that and you know maybe strippers and you know, this so this so man say benefit got it ultimately say it's about more it's beyond that one particular person but the idea you know um so basically your narratives or say i think sabai mai like social justice motions are making the main importance so so mal dile bol sake no um yeah one and a half hours in like sake so uh this is going to be you know last slide and if you have any questions you can ask me after that the last question is mental health and women ko kura garso e ma um so i think mental health ko issues say this to gender it's fine no for boy when if any um disproportionately it affects men by the narratives how la society ma um because men ma rate of suicide higher so tara ki bujhnu parcha bhanne han rate of attempting suicide you know attempts um to say probably equal is how la you know any rate of mental illness um to seem so okay and it's just that successful with that okay um so is for reasons ke mantha man then feminist or ne bolta you know that men are stoic you know they say afno emotional outlet pai ra hudaina no, toxic masculinity ko kura garcha you know in which men can't cry you know they can't have emotional outbursts they're seen as weak or woman like you know um so this is to kura haru huncha you know and this got the hands like the men emotionally unstable huncha ani is the explanation i don't so um but it's also i think very similar for women i think um women are emotionally more vulnerable um they are probably it, we are probably more emotionally reactive you know but it's also that any we just have to deal with it i'm so kotira kuraru we're expected to deal with it you know um and it's also when the other bunny smile got up polite to don't be rude and don't be a mess this kind of narrative the women are really affect us you know um so this is what the hand say you mental health could have any importance i um and it's probably important for women as well and also you you know important point is my studies is keep on someone hand medical professionals or they say women they feel got any pain they say both physical or psychological or so they like even down pain or so yeah and this could be because women are expected to feel that pain because they most women go through things like childbirth pregnancy periods period cramps and also to inherent pain like so that ki to on the other hand women ekdam weak when the narrative or like them frivolous and so like them reactive and so and then ekdam coral so it's also this is so narrative you know so i know i don't know exact reasons a cure um just speculation so uh, um to say endometri- endometriosis um you know especially things like pmdd um pmdd is basically uh pms which is premenstrual syndrome or any depressive episodes um suicidal episodes or is a woman or they can say ask ask us studies and i guess it's about it right now until it's it may affect course especially if you're predisposed to depression and you know? already if you're depressed you're taking medications or one say hunsa is to women or like actively hunsa like the meltdowns and you know and you could are like how to gynecologist or legitimate man then okay you know it's them downplay god things okay so mental health ko kura say um yeah you know so how it affects women more than the idea so it the way as go miru session say um my le pole kura i think i talked a lot i talked about um western feminist history i talked about nepali feminist history and nepali feminism ra debating feminism um 